Hey, what's going on everybody? So these next couple weeks, maybe you are at home with your toddlers or young children and you're looking for activities for toddlers or activities for toddlers to do indoors or activities for young children or maybe you're even thinking about homeschooling your young children. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over some amazing tips on how to do all those things, keep your toddler busy, maybe get some work done and keep your sanity. So let's do this. All right, so I am at home, and if this is your first time on the channel, welcome again, I'm Brad Dew. All right, so let's dive in. So Greta, my wife, and I, we have seven children of our own, and we already homeschool, and so we've got so many good tips and tricks already worked out for you guys that you can do during the next couple of weeks when you're home with your kids, and how to make it not just go terribly bad with your children being at home. Here are the top four things that you can do over the next couple weeks and beyond if you have young children or toddlers at home and you're looking for toddler activities, young children activities, or toddler activities to do indoors. These things we think will give you a unique approach to help get a leg up on everyone else and teach your children some really cool stuff. So as we've had people ask us, Brad, what should we do with our toddlers at home while we're home with them, right? Well, the first and most important thing that you should do is discover what your goals are. Talk with your spouse and say, hey, what do we want to accomplish in the next couple of weeks? Maybe you're working from home or, and you know, you need to get some work done, or maybe you have the freedom to kind of spend all of your time with your children and are looking for some great toddler activities. Either way, you have to define your goal. One of the first types of goals that you could have is to recreate a schooling process. In other words, if your child's school has sent work home with the child to do for the next two weeks or months or whatever it's going to be and you want to make sure you get that done, we think that is a great idea. But there are some other things that you could do. Like, for example, this would be a great dry run or test run if you've ever thought about homeschooling to kind of see what life would be like. So obviously we're big fans of homeschooling. So maybe just keep that in the back of your head as you're going through these next few weeks and doing a little bit of work with your child. So if you have a little bit of freedom and there's not a lot of stringent school work for your children to do, here is the number one thing that I would suggest doing is not feeling the pressure to recreate a school experience with your child and dive into things you wouldn't normally do. So something that you wouldn't normally do, like train your children in very specific and skilled areas. Spend time teaching them skills around the house that will actually pay dividends for weeks, months, and years to come. You know, our children can do so much more than we really give them credit for. So for example, if you have a six or a seven year old, Make it a goal that they learn to make a whole box of macaroni and cheese from start to finish on their own by the end of a week or by the end of a 10 day period. That would be a great skill for your seven year old to have that is going to help you and them down the future. But if you have a toddler and you're looking for toddler activities to do at home, here is the best thing you can do in my opinion is obedience and character training. So what do I mean by obedience and character training? Well, concentrate on things that schools don't necessarily teach. So for example, you could work on first time obedience where you call your child's name and they come to you immediately. You could work on showing your toddler how to make their own bed. You could work on specifically showing your toddler how to clean the playroom. Or you could specifically nail down just trying to make your toddler say please and thank you. These are all skills that if you just accomplish those over the next week or two, you'd be so much further ahead. Look, academia is gonna come. Your children are gonna get all the formal schooling that they need for sure. Don't overlook the possible skills and character training that you could do in this time. Another great indoor toddler activities is exercise. Now, it may seem kind of weird, but Teaching your child basic skills like jumping jacks, push-ups, sit-ups, you know, the old calisthenics we used to do as kids. Yeah, you could spend time actually teaching them how to do that so that they actually learn how to do those things and are able to let out some energy. Another thing you could do with your toddler is what we call a unit study. A unit study is where you pick out your toddler's favorite topic 
and you do a deep study into that topic. See, part of the goal of educating your children is creating a love of learning. Schools help your children learn, but they don't necessarily help your child develop a love of learning. So make your toddler or your young child uh, talk about their favorite TV show or outline bullet points or list the main characters and their character qualities or give a report on Fortnite or their favorite YouTube video, whatever it is, just formalize their favorite things and have them dive deeper into it. Another really great thing that you can do if you don't feel that your child has a really good handle on the skill is independent playtime. So your child, depending upon age, should be able to all by themselves be in a room or even on a blanket or on a couch or on a bed and be preoccupied quietly and peacefully for quite a long time. Now, this isn't going to go well the first time that you try to do this, right? This is a skill that you'll be able to build up over the next couple of days. But if you take the first couple of days and actually spend some time on this and then try to get work done that you need to be done after the first few days, it will go so much better and you'll get so much more work done than if you come into this thing with the expectation that your child somehow already has the skill of playing quietly in a room by themselves and you trying to get work done. So I wanna repeat that. Don't make the assumption that your child magically has all these skills trained into them that you maybe prior haven't spent much time on. See how much more valuable something like this would be than trying to recreate some type of school experience at home. You know, that's what I thought that we had to do when we started homeschooling was put an American flag in the corner, stand up, say the Pledge of Allegiance every morning, sit down on tables and have school for the next eight hours. And what we find is we're spending much more time on character training and developing their personalities as we are actual schoolwork. Because the reality is you can get about a day's worth of schoolwork done in like an hour and a half at home because it's one-on-one -on -one attention. It's funny because everyone asks us like, how do you do it? You run a business and you go to work and you have seven kids and you homeschool. Like, how do you not go crazy? Well, we've actually spent time on these character things and we work through these issues. We don't just work around these issues and you begin to build equity, right? So just when you have a mortgage on your home, every payment, you pay down that mortgage a little by little and eventually you own your home, right? Well, do activities in these next few weeks and ongoingly that build equity in your life, that improve the life of your child and make your life better, simpler and easier. And everyone wins and everyone is happy. And if you want some more tips on how you should talk to your children about the coronavirus or this next few weeks you're gonna have at home, click the video below. Don't forget to tap my head and subscribe and join the IP fam. And we'll see you on the next one.